In this video we will understand. Chapter 1. Ecology. Let's start. 1. Introduction. Ecology derives from the Greek words, oikos, home, and logos, study, meaning the study of the home of nature. Ecology is scientifically defined as the study of how living organisms relate to each other and their environment. It focuses on understanding how organisms are shaped by their surroundings, how they utilize environmental resources, including energy and mineral cycling. 2. History of Ecology Ecology has its roots in natural history, a practice as old as human civilization itself. Primitive societies relied on a deep knowledge of their environment for survival, including natural forces, plants, and animals. Ancient Indian texts like the Vedas, Sanhitas, Brahmanas, and Aranyakas Upanishads contained references to ecological principles. The Charaka Sanhita and Sushruta Sanhita texts demonstrated a strong understanding of plant and animal ecology, environmental factors, and their impact on health. 3. Environment and its components. The environment encompasses everything that affects an organism during its lifetime. It consists of all living, biotic, and non-living, abiotic, components and their interactions. All organisms rely on their environment and other organisms for necessities like food, water, and shelter. 4. Levels of Organizations in Ecology Ecology is organized into six main levels individual, population, community, major community, minor community, and ecosystem, individual. A single, independent living organism. Population. A group of the same species occupying a defined area. Community. A group of interacting species where individuals of one species depend on those of other species. Ecosystem. A unit of biosphere comprising living communities and their physical environment. Ecosystems maintain balance, and damage to one part affects everything within it. 5. Components of Ecosystem Ecosystem components include both abiotic, non-living, and biotic, living, elements. Abiotic components comprise factors like energy, rainfall, temperature, atmosphere, substratum, soil, materials, latitude, and altitude. Biotic components include primary producers, autotrophs like plants, consumers, heterotrophs, both macro and micro consumers, and decomposers, aseprotrophs. Ecosystems vary in size but all include interactions between organisms and their physical surroundings. Ecosystems provide goods and services like food, shelter, climate regulation, and detoxification of waste. 6. Ecotone An ecotone is the transitional area between two or more diverse ecosystems. It can be narrow or wide, and it exhibits conditions intermediate to the adjacent ecosystems, causing tension. The linear nature of ecotones showcases a progressive increase in the species composition of one community and a simultaneous decrease in the species of the other. A well-developed ecotone contains organisms unique to the area, and the zone may have a greater number of species and population density compared to the adjacent communities. The edge effect is observed in ecotones, particularly in the case of birds in terrestrial ecosystems. 7. Nietzsche A Nietzsche refers to the unique functional role or place of a species in an ecosystem, encompassing all the biological, physical, and chemical factors necessary for its survival, health, and reproduction. No two species have the exact same Nietzsche. And understanding the species Nietzsche is crucial for its conservation efforts. The types of niches include habitat Nietzsche, food Nietzsche, reproductive Nietzsche, and physical and chemical Nietzsche. 8. Biome 
The terrestrial part of the biosphere is divided into regions called biomes, characterized by climate, vegetation, animal life, and soil type. No two biomes are identical, and climate determines the boundaries in the abundance of plants and animals within each biome. Examples of biomes include tundra, taiga, temperate deciduous forest, tropical rainforest, savanna, grassland, and desert. Aquatic ecosystems are not categorized as biomes but are divided into distinct life zones based on salinity, nutrient levels, water temperature, and sunlight penetration. 9. Biosphere The biosphere represents the integrated zone comprising the atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere where life can exist. It is a narrow layer around the Earth's surface and is absent at the extremes of the North and South Poles, the highest mountains, and the deepest oceans due to hostile conditions. The biosphere obtains energy from the sun, and necessary nutrients come from the air, water, and soil, which are continually recycled. Living organisms are not uniformly distributed throughout the biosphere, with diverse life in tropical rainforests and limited life in polar regions. You will find notes of this video on pmkclasses.blogspot.com link will be provided into description box. Please check it out. Thank you.